Welcome to 5-Minute German Grammar. Thank you for watching. This presentation will introduce the present tense conjugation of regular German verbs. When conjugating verbs, it is important to maintain agreement between the subject and the verb. That is to say, the verb must agree with the subject both in number and person. In the sentence you see on the screen, the third person singular personal pronoun, he, is paired with an incorrect verb conjugation, play. This makes the sentence sound awkward. English adds an S to the verb in order to make a third person singular verb conjugation. This agreement between the subject and the verb makes the sentence sound much better. In German, present tense verb endings are determined both by the number of the subject they modify, singular or plural, and the person of the subject, first, second, or third person. There are also singular and plural endings for the formal form of address. The term present tense simply means that the action of the verb occurs in the present moment and not, say, in the past. You will use this conjugation pattern most frequently in German. As you see on the screen, German has a verb ending for each combination of number and person. It is very important to memorize these endings. To conjugate a verb in German, you begin with the infinitive form of the verb. This is the form that you will find in the dictionary. You will note that English uses to with a verb to form the infinitive, but German does not do this. Instead, German has an infinitive ending, which is attached to the verb stem to form the infinitive. Here the infinitive ending en is attached to the verb stem spiel to produce spielen, to play. To conjugate a verb, you first remove its infinitive ending. The next step is to determine both the number and person for the subject of the verb. Here the subject is the third person singular masculine personal pronoun er, he. We then need to find the correct third person singular verb ending on the chart. Here the correct ending t is marked in red. Once that is done, we simply add that ending to the verb stem to produce er spielt, he plays. Both the subject and verb are in third person singular, creating subject-verb agreement. Some regular verbs have a stem that ends in d or t. When this is the case, we change the conjugation pattern slightly by adding an e before the second and third person singular, as well as second person plural verb endings. These exceptional endings are marked in red on the screen. To conjugate verbs ending in D or T, we follow the same process as described earlier, but with one extra step. Remove the infinitive ending for the verb finden to find. Notice that the verb stem ends in D and determine both the number and person of the subject. Here the subject is a third person singular masculine personal pronoun er, he. We then need to find the correct third person singular verb ending on the chart. Here the appropriate ending ET is marked in red. We then add that ending to the verb stem to produce er findet, he finds. Both the subject and verb are in third person singular, creating subject verb agreement. Finally, a few regular verbs have a stem ending in est set, s or z which requires another slight variation to the conjugation pattern. The second person singular ending drops the S from the regular ST ending. This exceptional ending is marked in red on the screen. Following the steps described in the previous slides produces Du heist, you are called. Both the subject and verb are in second person singular, creating subject verb agreement. The five-minute German grammar series is produced by David Neville, Associate Professor of German. The video scripts and lecture slides are released under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, share-alike 4.0 international license. Don't be a square. Remix and share.